if you suffer damages to your home from wind and there was no flood whatsoever, but you have wet drywall insulation in your house, the carrier absolutely would owe for that. Now, a lot of policies are requiring a storm created opening, right? You need your, ask your roofer, ask, ask your public adjuster to find the storm created opening now. Find it now, early on, all right? Where did the water get in? How did it get in? So that you can prove it later when they deny your, your interior damages because you had no storm created opening. But they will owe for that and that's water and that's ensuing loss and that ensuing loss, water damage, right? Is covered under the terms and conditions of the policy, usually under coverage A. Ian was a pretty bad storm and a lot of people suffered some terrible damages and a lot of their personal belongings and keepsakes and treasures got destroyed. The insurance company in most instances will owe to replace those items. Now, depending on whether or not you have flood or was it damaged because of wind, right? So we don't, we're not talking apples to apples here. We're talking flood, which is apples. We're talking wind, which is oranges but most of those policies will cover your belongings and your personal items. And the way they go about doing that is they usually have an appraiser. They'll send these things off, they'll have it all documented and they'll have someone appraise it. And then they give you basically what it's worth today, which is probably not a lot because you're gonna depreciate it, right? But you should have your own appraiser. You should have someone else do it for you. But how are you gonna do that? Pictures, pictures of everything. You gotta take pictures, you gotta document. And then you can have someone on independently that you hire, look at all of this information and value it. And a great place to start with that is a public adjuster who can help log it all, uh, photo document it, and then put it into uh, some type of an estimating form or, or hire the right person to document your damages and give you a proper value for personal belongings. Well, in Florida, due to a hurricane, public adjusters, are, their fees are limited by statute. But it's not gonna be that much, I can tell you now. Most of them are charging 10%. That 10% that you pay them, they're gonna get you even more than that from the carrier because they're gonna get you what's properly owed to you that you don't even know you're, you're owed. Listen, don't worry about that. What you need to worry about is whether or not you're getting indemnified. And if you get fully indemnified, you'll have plenty of money to pay a public adjuster. If you get your coverage determination letter back from the carrier, and in it is a check, and in it is the scope of work, but it nowhere near covers your damages. And then you find that the scope of work in the check doesn't isn't consistent with what the adjuster that came to your property and looked at your damages saw, then you can contact that adjuster and ask him or her and say, hey, listen, this wasn't what actually took place uh, at home, but at the house versus what I got. What should we do? And see if you can get that adjuster involved in some way to contact the insurance company to tell them that that's not exactly what he or she put down. But again, get a public adjuster to represent you. That's the best place to start. Yes, they could very well owe for those because that's damage, right? And what happens is the pressure, the pushing of the wind on those windows will pop those seals. And when it pops those seals, they fog up. But you gotta document that. And you gotta be able to show that you didn't have that damage prior to the storm, but that it happened after the storm. So document it. If you have photographs, maybe go back through your pictures and your phone and you'll and say, oh, there's some pictures of, of the living room from a year ago and, and, and try to pull that picture out and say, see, there was no damage a year ago, but there's damage now. Do what you can to try to document, but check all of your windows. And sometimes you'll find that the windows on one side of the house will be, the seals will be popped, but it won't, won't happen on the other side of the house. That's that's consistent with, with wind, right? And the pressures of the wind, the way the, the hurricane swirls and those pressures uh, from the wind come through and pop them seals.
I want to talk to you just a second and warn you about two things in your policy that you may not be aware of. A lot of policies, especially homeowners policies, but definitely commercial policies, we're seeing these 180 day provisions popping up where within 180 days of the loss, if you don't notify the carrier that you intend to, to take the replacement cost value of the loss, your policy flips to an actual cash value long, uh, policy, which means you can lose thousands of dollars. I had a client during Hurricane Irma that lost two and a half million dollars. It's a lot of money. So if you haven't done that yet, and if you have a public adjuster or you have someone representing you, you need to put in writing to the carrier that you want to, that you're seeking replacement cost coverage. The second thing I want to warn you about is ordinance and law coverage. Now, most ordinance and law coverage lasts for two years, and after two years, you lose the coverage if you don't do the work. Well, we're nowhere near that, that part right now, right? But I want to make you aware of the fact that you may have ordinance and law coverage if you purchased it in your policy. Ordinance and law coverage is to cover those things that where the code has changed because your house is a little bit older, you may have to bring it up to code. That's what the ordinance and law coverage is, is to pay for that, for bringing your house up to code. You may have that coverage. Again, you'll have to look at your policy to determine that, but a lot of times carriers don't talk to you about ordinance and law coverage or how much of it you have available and how to use it or how to go about getting it. But it's there, and if you purchased it, you deserve it.